What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player review. Today we're taking a look at Patrick Vieira. This guy is an absolute beast and in my opinion probably the best player in the game currently. Him and Rijkaard are on par so if you do have Rijkaard you obviously don't need to go for Vieira but I even just think there's something about Vieira. There's just something about him lads right? It's like Sydney Sweeney versus Margot Robbie. There's just something about Margot Robbie that puts her into that upper tier you know and that's the thing with Patrick Vieira. I do feel that he is the ultimate, ultimate, ultimate DMF. Now, the one thing I will say about him, we're going to go in and show you him in our actual squad. This is not going to be like a gameplay specific review. This is going to be the ultimate build of him because a lot of people have been asking me, how do I train him up? You know, what do I put into his stats and what skills would you recommend to him as well? So I'm going to actually show you my setup that we've been getting a lot of enjoyment from. We were, you know, top 60. I think we were top 69th in the world. Uh, a couple of days ago when we were streaming on the Thursday, we did a big stream, we were top 69 in the world as our rank, and this was largely due to the squad that I had out here. We've got our three centre backs, obviously, but then we've got our wit and our bit of adventure with our wingers here, and of course we have Kante and Vieira. Now the big question I get asked a lot of the time is a partnership in this midfield, whether you go double pivot or whether you go a holding DMF. If you're using a holding DMF, my advice would be to use Rijkaard or somebody that's an anchorman. But if you are looking for a two-man there, I think Vieira as a destroyer and even Kante as a box-to-box -box or a double destroyer can work very effectively. Yes, you can use anchorman as well. Rijkaard could go here. And of course, you could have Vieira and Rijkaard or else anybody else in that position as well and then just change out your CB. But I feel like Rijkaard is one of the best CBs in the game at the moment, which is why he's there. And honestly... Whatever Kante misses when he's kind of defending from, you know, chasing the ball around, Vieira is going to mop up, right? So I'm going to show you the build, I'm going to show you the advanced instructions, and I'm going to show you why this is the ultimate Vieira monster build, okay? So if you are struggling with him or if he's not dominating games, Vieira should be your best player pretty much every game in terms of getting the ball back. He's just unbelievable. But the less you see of him, the better, because it means that you're dominating possession. So these are his actual stats here, right? I have, an, I have already got a Vieira build and video and up on my channel from when this card first came out. I have an actual gameplay review. If you guys want to see a gameplay one where I show you exactly the positions you should be picking up with him, smash that like button, get in touch in the comments below, and I'll get on that as well. But this is more for the build, because I've seen a couple of dodgy builds out there, and I think that this one is definitely the best. Now, I've given him blocker here with his additional skills and true passing. We've also given him heel trick. That was just a random one, right? But you can give him pretty much anything else that you want here for passing. He has low lofted. One touch pass would be epic on Vieira here. Also, I would try to get area superior superiority on him or acrobatic clearance for when he's defending deep. But these are the skills and the stats that you're going to be looking at. Now, as you go through these, right, from defense to strength with speed and acceleration, you've got his defensive awareness at 86, his tackling at 99, his aggression at 95, and his defensive engagement at 91. Speed and acceleration, his speed is going to be 90. You might say, do I need the speed to go as high? Do I need the stamina to go as high? Well, I think this is what gives him that secret build. Once he hits 90 in speed, he covers way more ground. I know it's crazy. I know it might sound a little bit placebo, but I've tried this build with the free reset. Obviously, you can reset the players. I've tried this multiple player progressions. I've probably played dozens and dozens and dozens and dozens of games with not only this Patrick Vieira, but the original Patrick Vieira as well that we had, which was one of our first players. I think our first signing for the club. This is the build that we've gone for with him. Now, bear in mind, we do have Xabi Alonso as our manager or else Pep. We're using the highest managers in the game, but this build will still work with Klopp or Simeone or anybody that you choose to have, Ten Hag. Um, dexterity, two. We're going to have nothing into shooting, dribbling, or passing. Dexterity is going to be two. That's going to give you the boost. Lower body strength is going to be 15. And obviously, with the plus three for the managers, once a stat is over 85, you will get a plus three to that for most stats with Pep or with Alonso. Aerial strength is going to be five. I'd like that a little bit higher. Obviously, for his jumping and heading, that's where you'd either bring in area superiority or else you would bring in your acrobatic clearance. But for his physical contact, that's more than enough. And defending is going to be 12, right? This is the best build, lads. There's no doubt in my mind, 90 speed, 99 tackling, and 95 aggression is the best build for him. You're also going to be getting a plus uh, with the physical contact, which is going to bring it up past 91. Yes, I would like his heading a little bit more, 
but pretty much 90% of people play on the ground, ticky tacky on the ball on the ground. So there's no point in mixing it around unless you come up against the bruiser. And if that's the case, you just have to kind of like grit your teeth and actually, you know, the game plays a lot of issues as it is. So you're not going to be really basing your whole squad around running into, you know, one out of 10 people um, that are going to play aerial balls, you know. And even at that, it's a 50-50 a lot of the time. But that is the destroyer build of Vieira. I think that is the best card, the best build for him. When he compares to Rijkaard, if you look at their stats, Anchorman versus Destroyer. When you're training an Anchorman, and I'll do a video on this now because of the free player reset, the speed at 85 for an Anchorman is going to be enough. The, the thing is, lads, these cards are so good, there is no weaknesses in these cards. You can still get the 85 speed and all these defensive stats, but I think the big key for Patrick Vieira as a Destroyer, especially this booster, is the 90 speed and the 90 plus physical contact. They're the two stats you really need to look at while still hitting that 95 aggression. Yes, Reichardt has 96 aggression. His defensive engagement is higher because he's an anchorman, but his defensive awareness is way higher. Patrick Vieira needs to be kind of like just left alone. Now, a lot of the time is when you're controlling the AI or when you're controlling manually, you're going to be leaving the AI control what runs Patrick Fear it does and doesn't make. So when I'm playing a pivot system like this, it doesn't matter if you want to play a 4-3-3 or anything. If you want to isolate this or you want to move back to, you know, right card and you want to do a double pivot or even if you want to do something like this, if you go like this, like with the attacking midfielder and just go down to a traditional 4-2-1-3 meta style team and obviously we would swap out Maradona there for whatever right back that we wanted to put in and this is what most people are playing right now, whether they put that as a CB or they have a 3 CB partnership or whatever, that's what most people are playing at the moment. This is still relevant, right? Because if you are playing a DMF here in this system, you can always, always, always control what runs he makes and how deep he is. It doesn't matter what system that you're using. I always recommend defensive on whatever player I want to go back and help out my center backs. In this case, it's going to be Paddy V. And I also play, if I'm using, right, if I'm using Paddy V here, I want him to be deep line, especially if I'm playing quick counter. Because Jabby Alonso is going to be playing so high up the pitch with quick counter, this is where he's going to be defending. That's where the line is going to be. So by default, I will want to have one of my centre backs and my DMF controlling my defensive line by AI. Because you can only control one player at a time. So to do that, I would probably put defensive on one of my CBs. Usually I put it on my destroyer. And I would also put defensive on the other. If you've got a player that's got a destroyer play style and you want him to defend, stick defensive on him and then stick deep line on as well. There is an issue with deep line. They haven't really rectified it. It's just another one of these issues with the gameplay and the balance. But there is an issue with the AI sometimes with the deep line that if the AI runs in, if, if Patrick Vieira runs into a pocket of space that Reichardt or Saliba's in, they can all leave a gap. But you're only going to have a problem with that if you're playing a really top class opponent that knows that kind of like, you know, issue or gameplay kind, kind of thing. But that is basically it with Patrick Vieira. I honestly think he's probably the best card in the game. That's just my opinion. Um, I think he's the best card in the game. There's just something about him above right card. You know, it's probably a personal uh, taste. Um, but I definitely think that he's a beast. Let me know what you guys think. That is the build, as I said there, with all the skills and all the stats. You can test out a few builds, but I guarantee you, if you use that build, lads, that will be an absolute monster for you. It's the same if you have, doesn't matter what formation that you have or what manager that you have. Even here, if we change manager and we use, which a lot of people are still using, if they use Ten Hag, um, a lot of people are using that. It's going to give a plus one to speed. We actually don't need to train up the speed as much, but you're not going to be getting the boost, obviously, with the manager boost. The, the new manager boosts compared to Ten Hag here, right? This Ten Hag with the booster, he's given a plus one to speed. But these managers here, because they have obviously got uh, more, they've got 88 team play style proficiency, they're actually going to be more worthwhile having in because they're going to give a plus two speed uh, to this instead of 88 with Ten Hag. You're going to be getting a plus three to any stat, most stats that are over 85. So that is why we were able to get the stats to where we have them there with Alonso or Pep. So that is it for me. That's just a quick informative video with no real gameplay. I know you guys were asking for this best, best build of Vieira. Hopefully it answers every question, how to set him up in your squad. If you guys want to see on the pitch in-game action, we literally have a 10-hour stream from Thursday where we did and we played with Vieira quite a bit. Or also, I will do a dedicated video. Just as I said, smash that like button, get in touch in the comments below and subscribe to the channel. Until then, we'll talk to you in a bit. Peace.